Hi, everybody. Welcome to School of Prophetic Fire. I'm your teacher and your friend, Ann Finkelman. Uh, I'm so happy that you tuned in today. You could, I understand you could do many, many other things with your time, but you've chosen to take a few moments to spend life with me. And thank you. I don't take that lightly. You can find us on Facebook, Ann Finkelman. You can find us on our official website, www.shoshanaministries.net. The name of the ministry, I like to call it the Mother Ministry, is Shoshana Ministries International. And out of that has come School of Prophetic Fire, which you're watching, Shoshana Rose Radio Program, which we interview anointed men and women of God that God sends, and Scrolls for His Glory, our newest uh, venture, is um, it's Glorifying God on Parchment. Check out our website. And if you want to show sow a financial seed, we appreciate that. You can give paypal.com, click on that financial link. You can send us a, a prayer request, beloved of God. We'd be honored to pray for you, okay? Um, there's those angels again. Every time I touch my face, I feel the angels of the Lord. And I say that often in a lot of our videos because there was angels in this set. We've had guests come on and say, there's angels here. You know, my face is itchy. That's because the angels of the Lord, they camp around those that fear God and they save them. Amen. And they hop into the voice of the Lord thy God. And so I love for you to connect with us. I love meeting new people. And the best way to connect is on Facebook. And I appreciate that. So without further ado, I want to get into the book of Luke. And if you like this program, hit the button, like button. It, help us, it helps us go around the world with YouTube. And other people can be blessed. And every time people are blessed, guess what? You will get part of that blessing because you have enabled it, enabled this video to be ministered to around the world by pressing like. Okay? And subscribe to our station. It's free. It's a free online class. Freely I receive, freely I give. You want to sow a seed? That's something else that you're able to do. But we don't require that. No amount is too small. And you know, it leaves, it doesn't leave your hand. It leaves your hand, it doesn't leave your life. And so Luke 18, you know, sometimes we have to go through things that we don't understand how, why we're waiting, why it's taking so long. You know, people say, how long, and How long do I have to wait? Or they've watched me go through things at 5, 10, 10 years and say, you're still waiting? I said, I'm believing God. And I keep on knocking. And you keep on knocking. And God says, if we keep on knocking, he will, beloved of God, he will answer us. Hi, angels, I feel your presence, hallelujah. And I, I, I dispatch, God, I ask that you dispatch angels to my viewing audience. For the angels of the Lord hearken in strength, and they hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. They excel in strength to my beautiful audience in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask that you bless this program, that every hurting heart would be healed, and every emotion would be healed, and you would bring total restoration to the people watching this program. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And so Luke chapter 18 encourages us. This is really a parable on continuing to pray and never giving up. And that's what I want to share with you for a few moments of our time today, together. So get your Bible, get a notepad, and let's take a walk in the Word. Amen? Luke 18. And Jesus spake this parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. God doesn't want us fainting, beloved of God. He doesn't want us fainting. He wants us to stay steadfast, to look into the eyes of Jesus. He wants us to, 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 to look into those beautiful eyes, to stay focused. He doesn't want us to, to faint. We don't have to faint. We can hold on to the horn to the altar. And we can believe God for our victory, for he is a God of victory and justice. And we're going to talk about some of, the, some of the attributes of God today. He's a God of justice. He hates robbery, but he loves justice. And he will bring justice to your life, to my life, as we walk with him. He is not slack concerning his promise, beloved of God. And there was a city, he said, Jesus said, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. He didn't respect God. He was an unjust judge. And there was a widow 
in that city, and she came to him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Help me against the adversary. They're dragging me to court. Maybe somebody's dragging you to court today. You have the chief justice. God himself is on his throne. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the Messiah of Israel, and the Holy Spirit of the living God, which is your comforter, your friend, your advocate, your teacher, your counselor, the one that leads and guides us into all truth, beloved of God. He is for you and never against you. So we're going to talk about that today. You're going to be blessed beyond measure. Avenge me and my adversary as you hear from God and hear from heaven, beloved. And he would not for a while. That woman had to keep going back and going back and going back. Are you waiting for prayer that seems endless? Waiting and waiting and waiting. I see you out there. I understand. I've been there. Preaching to the choir here. He said, avenge me and my adversary. He would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, Yet because this widow, she troubles me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continuing coming, she wears me out. Because she keeps coming back and coming back and praying, <clears throat> excuse me, and coming back. Don't give up, beloved of God. Stay steadfast with God. Never give up. Never cave in. God has your back. And the Lord said, verse 6 of Luke 18, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not the God, and shall not God avenge his only left, which cry day and night unto him, though he bears long with them? God will protect you. I tell you that he will avenge you speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith in the earth. Oh my, nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith in the earth. Beloved of God, do you know how much the Lord loves you? He said, he will avenge you speedily, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night to him, unto him, that he bear long with them? Yes, God says, Luke 18, verse 8, I tell you, he will avenge you speedily. Nevertheless, shall the Son of Man, when he comes, shall he find faith in the earth. Listen, faith moves the hand of God, beloved of God. Yes, it does. Isaiah 61, verse 8. I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery, and I love justice. Psalm 89, 14. The habitation of thy throne, O God, is justice, truth, and righteousness. Yes, yes, yes. Justice is mentioned 500 times in the word of God, beloved. 500 times. The Lord is for you. He's never against you. You don't need money for an attorney. God will be your attorney. He's an attorney that will never do you harm. Amen? He's for you. He is for justice. He's not in love with money. He's in love with you. The price has been paid. Amen? And he serves, he serves you. You know when I say he serves you? As you serve him, God is always there. He's always mindful of his covenant with us. He's such a wonderful God. He sits high, but he looks low. And what is God? What is man that God is mindful of his covenant with us? That's a mighty God that we serve. So let me encourage you today for the few moments that we have together. If you're being mistreated, don't give up. Keep praying. Keep your eyes on God, you know? Keep looking into the eyes of Jesus. Keep gazing into that beautiful face of his. Psalm 27, 8, you've heard me say it often. When you said to me, Lord, seek ye my face, my heart said unto you, thy face, Lord, will I seek. God's speaking to you today. Close your eyes. I'm going to sing you a little song. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of 
of his glory and grace. Hallelujah. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Put your hand on your heart, beloved. Singing, I love you, Lord. I love you. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, beloved of God. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this earth, the things of this world, will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Have you told the Lord you love him today? Have you told him how, how majestic he is? Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. I love you. Hallelujah. Don't give up praying, beloved of God. God is a God of justice. He will smite the enemy. Deuteronomy 32, 27. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are his everlasting arms. He shall thrust out the enemy and shall say, destroy them. Hallelujah. God knows how to deal with the enemy. You just leave all the consequences to God. You pray, you believe God, you stay steadfast, and know that God is for you. He is never against you. For Jeremiah 31, 3 says, For I have loved you with an everlasting love, says the Lord, and with loving kindness have I drawn you unto myself. Hallelujah. Singing, I love you, God. I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Singing, I love you, Lord. Tell the Lord you love him today. Hallelujah. He will avenge you speedily. Luke 18, verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect? That's you, which cry out to him day and night, though he bears long with them. God knows. He hears you. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily in his timing. Timing is everything. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith in the earth? Read the book of Hebrews. It will talk about faith. Hebrews, Hebrews 10.1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Faith is the title deed to what God has promised us. All debt has been nailed to the cross, beloved of God. Hallelujah. I just wanted to spend a few moments with you. Thank you so much for your time. This is School of the Fire, Ann Finkelman, and you can find us on Facebook. And we're delighted that you've chosen to take a few moments of your time to go through life with us. You have many other choices, and we understand that. And we're glad that you have chosen to spend it with us. May you be enriched in God if you don't know him, Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you were, you were born of a virgin, you were, you were crucified, you were buried, but you rose from the dead. In the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I've messed up. I've made a mess of things. Cleanse me with your blood. I ask that you forgive me, Lord. I forgive myself, and I forgive all my offenders. I choose to love. Give me purpose in my life and heal my heart in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. If you're a backslider, you've left God for whatever reason, you could have been hurt. Nobody's judging you. God knows your heart. God looks on the heart. He's not as man that looks on the outward appearance. God looks on the heart. Come home to Father. Say, Father, I repent. I'm coming home to you. I don't like the pig's side. Something could have happened. A major event could have locked you up where you, where you, where you, were, str you were stressed. You come out of left field where you were struck 
and you didn't know you didn't know how to find your way back. Today's your day to find your way back, beloved of God. The Father's preparing a robe for your back and a party for you. And he's getting he's serving the best food and a ring for your finger. Come home, prodigal, says the Lord. I love you with an everlasting love, and therefore with loving kindness have I drawn you unto myself. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. Find a church if you're not in a church. You that just accepted the Lord, find a full gospel church full of the Holy Ghost that will help you grow in the ways of God. Amen and amen. Tell the pastor that you need a Bible. Tell the pastor that you just received the Lord. Can you teach me about God? Can you plug me in? In the name of Jesus, I bless you with the desires of your heart from the kingdom of God. And that may all your steps be ordered of the Lord. And your children shall come home. Children shall be restored. Great shall be the peace of your children. School of prophetic fire. Peace, peace, peace. Wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit. Oh, this Lord, I pray, in wonderful billows of love. I love you more and more if nobody's told you today. But Jesus loves you more. For you are special. He has a plan for you. Tell people about him. You'll never be the same. I'll see you next time. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It enables us to go around the world. So financial seats, ShoshanaMinistries.net, PayPal.com. You can give credit card, debit card. Pay the credit card off at the end of the month. God doesn't like debt. Hallelujah. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you come out of debt in Jesus' name by seeking the face of God, that he teaches us his ways. Amen and amen. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.